So there are a number of different anger theorists who have talked about different kinds of anger styles. Um, but the one I'll, I'll mention uh, breaks anger styles into three forms of expression. So there's anger out, and anger out typically looks like the kinds of behaviors we see with someone that we consider to have a temper. So they become very angry, and then they're gonna be doing things like yelling, they may be using profanity, they may smash cell phones or pound their fist on a desk or something along those lines, destroy property. Um, a single anger out, anger out episode, in fact, can even cause a heart attack. So that anger expression style does have some risks. It also has interpersonal consequences, as you can imagine, if this is your employer or employee, this is gonna cause problems in the workplace. But likewise, an anger in style, where the person is more typically experiencing high levels of anger, but they're not expressing them outwardly. So this person, it may not be clear to those around them that they're actually very, very angry, but they're having an internal experience, usually of high levels of rumination is what I see in my practice, where they're stewing about it and they're not engaging or dealing in active problem solving. That too has physical implications and is correlated with things like gastrointestinal problems and there's even some evidence that it might be linked to some forms of cancer. Finally, anger control is the expression style in my practice is what we're trying to teach clients. And that's where we're really looking to have them do a few different things. One, they're gonna to begin to change their thinking about things, both how they're perceiving situations in the first place, what they're attributing the cause to, and then thinking about the practical implications and consequences of their actions. By doing so, they're hopefully gonna bring down the level of anger in the first place. They'll also use relaxation to bring down the level of anger. And then they're gonna actively engage in problem solving and assertively communicate what's going on for them. So they might share their feelings. They might share what they th propose could make the situation better. And that's really the kind of expression style we're looking for when we're dealing with anger management. Mm -hmm.